Hey folks, Crux here. So it's been ages and a half since I've had any sort of update, but I've uh, uh, been making some progress on Project Hathor, which I kind of abandoned about a year ago. Um, you know, life happens, but I uh, uh, have a capacitor bank here that I uh, put together, or this is the first of probably more capacitor banks, but this will be the initial proof of concept. Uh, it's a uh, two strings of five capacitors. Um, each of these are 400 volt, uh, 3900 microfarad. So that gives me a 2000 volt capacitor at uh, 1560 microfarad. Um, the idea of this is going to be for a ring launcher, uh, which is a uh, form of impulse generators. So we charge up the uh, bank of capacitors with a microwave oven transformer that's uh, been uh, rectified to uh, DC. And then uh, once it's charged up, um, we discharge it through a coil of wire. Uh, that way we have a hard drive platter sitting on top of. So that'll create a big magnetic uh, pulse which then uh, forms current in the hard drive platter which then creates an opposing magnetic field and you end up getting a hard drive platter that shoots way up into the sky. Uh, one of the things I need for this though is a contactor and those are kind of pricey and hard to come by. Uh, so I opted to build one so this is uh, my initial proof of concept at least uh, for a contactor. Uh, so it's been driven by a uh, 12 volt uh, solenoid. Uh, I have two tungsten electrodes here and it's set up so the contacts can be adjusted so they're close but don't actually touch. So that'll prevent the contacts from accidentally welding to one another since I'm dealing with such high voltages and, and uh, discharge currents it, it has to be kind of beefy there um, but it is working and this is uh, some 3d printed parts and uh, laser cutted acrylic and it looks pretty nice um, there's a couple things I would have changed um, one of the problems is I didn't actually include cutouts on the bottom for the uh, screws and actually really measure uh, you know how far I put the screws in there I have like quite a bin of various screws however the ones that fit in here but don't actually go all the way through and like into the acrylic just barely reach the uh, cage nuts underneath so um, a further revision I'll include holes to uh, allow those nuts to go through and, and, and might switch these out to um, M4 hardware versus M3 because uh, you can strip the uh, the nut if you put too much force on there so and that'll allow me to also loosen this up enough where it's easy in it to uh, adjust these. The other problem is there's just a little bit too much uh, gap between the uh, solenoid ends and, and uh, uh, the plastic pieces so um, just make it so like this back plate for example could slide back and forth a little bit to account for that uh, minor adjustment but uh, otherwise it seems to be okay. We'll uh, see how it actually works in practice. So anyway, that's a uh, quick update. Uh, hope to actually have the ring launcher up and running for the Las Vegas Mini Maker Fair, which is February 28th. Um, it's going to be in the Henderson Convention Center. Uh, so if you're in the Vegas area, come check it out. Even if you're, you know, a state or two over, it's worth uh, the drive to uh, check out all the makers or if you in fact are uh, making something cool yourself um, we always uh, 
can use people to uh, show off their uh, cool projects. So anyway, uh, this is Crux. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later.